Hey guys, so it is finally here after days of waiting for this software update. Apple has officially released iOS 26.0.1. This software update is now officially available for all iPhones currently running iOS 26. And we've talked about this software update. We were waiting for this one as Apple is addressing several bugs with this new software update to iOS 26. Again, available for everyone as of today. You can head on over into settings, general software update, and iOS 26.0.1 should be available for you to download onto your iPhone. Now, aside from iOS 26.0.1, Apple also released iPadOS, watchOS, tvOS, visionOS, and macOS 26.0.1 all available to download as of today. And of course, in this video, we're going to go over everything that's new within the latest update to iOS 26, 26.0.1. Now, the first thing to note is that iOS 26.0.1 does not contain any new features. This software update will provide iPhone users with important security patches and, of course, some bug fixes. So let's head on over into the release notes and let's go over some of the fixes here that we've been waiting on. So the first option here, or the first note here says, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth may occasionally disconnect on iPhone iPhone 17, iPhone Air, and iPhone 17 Pro models. So if you were having Wi-Fi issues on your iPhone, then this software update will most likely address those issues for you as Apple has recognized that Bluetooth and Wi-Fi will occasionally disconnect specifically on the newer devices. Again, the iPhone 17 lineup, including the iPhone Air. Now, Apple also mentions a small number of iPhone users may be unable to connect to a cell network after updating to iOS 26. So if you were having cell network issues, and hopefully this software update will address that for you as well. Now, the one thing that we were concerned about was photos taking on the new iPhones where some images would show up sort of distorted. It looks like Apple has recognized this and this software update also fixes photos taken under certain lighting conditions with iPhone 17, iPhone Air, and iPhone 17 Pros. Of course, this includes all the Pro models, the Pro and Pro Max, may include unexpected artifacts in those images. So sort of distorted images from those devices, and it looks like Apple has addressed that issue here as well. Now, if you were having issues where you would go to customize your iPhone's home screen, and you would add the tinted options to the home screen, it looks like Apple is addressing an issue here as well, as the release note here mentions that app icons may appear blank after adding a custom tint. So if you were having issues with the tinted options to customize your iPhone, where some icons would appear to be blank, it looks like Apple has recognized this to be an issue, and iOS 26.0.1 also addresses this issue. Now the last issue here says, VoiceOver may become disable after updating to iOS 26. So of course, voiceover was also an issue for some users. Again, a lot of these issues are pertaining to the new iPhones, but of course, in terms of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and the cell network issues, it looks like Apple is addressing that here. Now, in terms of performance and battery life, Apple makes no mention in regards to that, but I will be testing the software in terms of performance and battery life and all that good stuff to give you guys a follow-up video in about a day or two. I need some time to test that. But yeah, iOS 26.0 point one finally here to address five issues on your iPhone, including security patches for your device. I recommend everyone to update as of today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.